Welcome back to AFAX number one stop to entertainment and trending news. Former Nairobi Governor Mike Sonko has made it clear that he did not use Congestina Aching as a PR stunt. I want to take you guys back to a couple of months ago when we got an update on Congestina and she was doing really well. She had completed her rehabilitation. She was looking really good and she got a job as well as head of security because Sonko did not want her to go back to her village and still go back to her old ways. So the moment she was done with rehabilitation, she got a job and in fact Sonko did not want her to work at the club because she would be surrounded by alcohol, drugs. So he decided that she's going to be head of security at the hotel and present day carol radul shares these photos that you see right now on your screen and she puts a caption that shows congestina is not doing well she of course is not looking so bad in the photos compared to the first time she was taken from the village but you can also not compare she doesn't look the same as when sonko had put out an update on his timeline giving her a job and all that so carol writes this on 2nd january i visited my friend Justina Cheng in her shags in Yala. She's been there about two months and is back to her same lifestyle. She has good days and bad days. When I arrived, she was having a bad day, but her face lit up when she saw me and we chatted for a long time as best we could. I tried with my layman ability to gently encourage her to clean up her act. Many have tried to help her, but none of us have succeeded in a long-term solution to her predicament. I concede it's out of my capability. What I can do, though, is be her friend. Visit her when I can. Call her mom from time to time to check in on them. If you are ever in the Yala area, drop in and say hi. She'll love it. Do a bit of shopping for her mom who looks after her. Mama is always so appreciative and pray for the family so people got to see this post some were positive saying that all will be okay some are saying what can be done to help her long term some are even questioning what happened because sonko had a long-term solution done with the rehabilitation she was not going back to yala she got a job she was going to sustain herself the money that she was earning she was also going to help her family so this was a long-term solution so what really happened why is she back in the village and it seems like Sonko got to see all this reaction. As you can see from this particular comment, someone wrote, Kwani Sonko made fake promises to her. And Carol Radul responded, I don't know the full story, but I believe he did try to help. The issue is complex. And uh, the person responded, Ama, it can be better if we Kenyans come up with a small business, Hapo Ocha. And I think we can all agree that no amount of money that can be given to Congestina when she's still at her home will get her out of this situation because we can agree that her home is the biggest contributor to the situation that she finds herself. We could see the total change when she was at rehab. Once she gets back from rehab, goes back home, then she goes back to the old ways. She's not doing well. The people surrounding her are still the same. So it has not been a positive environment and that can be seen in the two months that she has been home already. And another comment here says, back again in the same environment after recovery from rehab, a change in environment is is very important. I thought Sonko gave something, Kumbeni PR, and Carol responded, in Sonko's defense, I think he really did try. Many people have tried over the years. And they responded back, agreed, Sonko has done a remarkable job i hope she is engaged on something in shags there and someone says carol many people have saw me vizuri before suggesting sonko you and many more did your best now it is on her someone says carol please relocate this lady and the queen guinea life afresh her village witches and enemies might be really working hard life is spiritual and carol responded i don't have the resources and based on my last campaign very few people were willing to chip in and still there were those who were calling out Sonko. Uliam Kamba ilikuwa 2PR kumbe nonsense. So many criticized him saying that he used congestina. But I think we can also agree that from his own pockets it was not a contribution from kenyans he took her to rehab and not just the first time the first time he helped she went back to the old ways he still picked her up took her to rehab and this time around with a solution uh, we saw a very huge change on congestina she was glowing and then we were told she got a job still courtesy of mike sonko 
and now we hear that she's back in the village so mike sonko gives his side of the story he did not use congestina and he also came with his receipts which we'll be getting to listen to so he shares i have seen a post by my good friend carol radul on conje which attracted both positive and negative reactions from the public others were criticizing and accusing me of playing pr and vipindi ray i hereby wish to respond with facts as here under kenyans i did my best to help conje but her family watered down my efforts fortunately my heart is bigger than myself at times i failed to control it for the love i have for the people especially the less fortunate and i think this is the reason i initially gave conje the first second and now maybe i will be forced to give a third and final chance again because i'm always serious with all the cases we undertake and since we always document and account for the progress of all our sensitive cases the first five minutes 24 seconds recording obtained from a mobile phone provider server was on 2nd october 2023 at 15 54 pm between myself and conge's son charlton who's my very good buddy whom i respect a lot the second 21 25 minutes audio was downloaded from a mobile phone number provider server on 18th december 2023 at 11 26 am listen carefully to the audio clip and be the judges let's have a listen to the audio clip that mike sonko has shared Hello. Yes, hello. Eh, hey, progress munaendeleaje? Mmekaa sana. Eh, hey, imekaa sana lakini ndio hata alikuwa anataka nikutek. Mm. Tukwenda huko hivyo Uganda. Usimuli, si ni kutupia pesa na mkaenda ama? Ah, ile silikuwa ya ule nani Habalis? Nilikuwa nakwambia ya home. Shosha alikuwa ampeleke kwa Habalis fulani ya muombea toe toe ma vitu. Mhm. Mm Alafu ndio sasa afta hiyo ndalisema mm -hmm. sasa tumpatie time kidogo aone kama kuna changes alafu ndio sasa tuende Uganda kwa maombi sasa kwa prophet ule kakande eh hey, kwa nimekuwa na wasiwasi mmekaa sana na unajua akiachiliwa peke yake wewe uko mbali mimi niko mbali unajua naogopa mm -hmm. turudi tena back to the same problem eh hey, hiyo hata ndio ofia yetu basi sasa mm -hmm. tunataka tupange tuende huko Uganda tumpeleke kwa maombi sasa but mimi nasikia huko tena ameanza anza tena kutoka toka kuna mtu anamchunga shushu wa mchungi watu mm. ameanza kuregelea hivi mapito unajua italipuka tena ituletea aibu tena eh hey, inaleta aibu eh ameanza hiyo mambo yake tena alafu itaniregesha nyuma unajua hizi vitu we spend a lot of money and time and energy mm kweli kweli mm. kabisa mm, so, talton yeah so nani anamwangalia because si tulikubalia juu ya heshima yako na ya sister so nani anamshirikia huko ah uh, huko home mm juu unajua hata shosha alikuwa amesema atamwangalia na aunt yangu huko anaitwa karo alisema atamwangalia mm but from the feedback walinipatia juzi mm. walisema tu tufanye juu chini mm. tumkimbize huko Uganda vile tulikuwa tumesema ndio sasa rudi sasa Uganda ni pasta ama ni nani huko Uganda ni bro mwana kitu apo namita prophet kakandi so anataka kwenda huko kwa prophet lini hiyo ndio sasa tunafai kuweka date alafu tu tuagree tuenda tujaweka date baada so ungeniambia alafu mm. kabla kama kama iko mbali ama najua kama kuna anything involved ni, ni mm. vile ni toilet si, ya habari si ndio pesa muende mm. kama atakaa sana mumregeshe mm. juu hapa kuanda care ya watu yangu askari uh, watu wako wengi because huko ataanza tena unajua kelegele vitu zake tena mm. italipuka tena ilete mimi aibu ikuletee wewe aibu ilete family aibu okay, yes, na, yes. na vile mimi niko nimejitahidi kabisa 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 eh uh, hiyo nani kweli na tunashukuru sana. Mm. Sasa sasa akiwa si haya yako na nilikuwa nime promise sita release nime nimekubali sababu ya heshima yako. Eh uh, hiyo na hiyo hiyo ni sawa. Jua wewe ndio the, the sun na kuongea kitu kwa family tunakubaliana. Mm. Natupia mimi sina right ya ku make decision over your mother. Mm. Mm. So na, naomba yes. kama unajua ataka sana acha tumchukue tuendelee sisi kutembeatembea na yeye kukakaa na yeye hivyo hivyo tunamchunga chunga pole pole miaka ikisonga okay eh na kama kama kama, kama, kama unajua ni immediately uniambie immediately ni facilitate muende apate yeah. maombi mm mimi mm, ile yetu na wewe tushamaliza ile ya kwa face 1 face 1 tumaliza sasa hizo zingine muharakishe kwa huko ataanza kujisahau tena mimi namjua hiyo ni kweli kwa sababu unajua mishida mimi nilikuwa mm bila toko kuna Nairobi na Nairobi na ile stress alikuwa na ile alikuwa amejam kidogo. Mm. Sasa hiyo ndo alikuwa. No, afai boss, boss, afai yeah. kujam, kukosa ndege. Mm. 
na mimi kwa nakimbia kotini na amekuja na na kea ya basi na one day afai kujam anajam nini angalia kule tumetoka kwanza asiangalie mali yeah. mali tumefika kweli yeah. eh, that day flights were full na mimi kwa nakimbia kotini lazima ningekimbia ama mm. ningepata warrant of arrest yes eh, hiyo hiyo sasa anaanza kujisahau mali hiyo tumetoka okay eh sasa wacha nifanye hivi. Mm. Let me make some calls to shughulike vile tutampeleka huko. Mm. Nitakutumia message of vitu zitahitajika alafu tukitoka huko direct napanga tukuje tu huko eh, Nairobi. Eh, lakini sifurahi sana vile mmemwaka huko sana. Sasa unaona month inaenda kusha sasa. Yeah, eh, ni kweli lakini ni vile pia ndi alikuwa anakataa kurudi na huko sijui shida ni gani. Wajua shida nataka kuregelea zile vitu zake tena. Mm. Eh, na this time atajaribisha atakuaribisha na atabisha familia. Mm. Akarudi hizo vitu zake tena mimi nitaosha mkono. Mm. Mimi mimi siwachili kesi hii kesi yake si kubwa vile unafikiria. Mimi nimekana watoto uh, waliwachwa na mama yao akiwa 2 years. Mm. Today they in university. Mm. Eh, hey. so hata nyinyi as a family you play your role. Msio chini mtu tena baadaye eh, tena aanze kurudi kwa mitandao. Oh, ameachiliwa, ameachiliwa na anaanza kula hizo vitu zake tena atuletea hasara tena. Mm. Yes. Mm. Yes. Wata, wata so wewe, 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 as her son, you also play your role. You are a mature, you are mm. a grown up. You play your role. Her sister play your role. Family play your role. Musi kubali ya kaya uko sana. Sawa, sawa. Yes. Okay, sawa. Yeah, please, please. Oh, okay. Wana follow up to say. Tawa, na uniambie. Okay, sawa. Yeah, but talk yu mchezo bana. Tunatumia pasa mingi sana hizi matutimendi za watu. Sawa, sawa. Kwa mwisho na No ni Constantino huyo sana yake alimwombea ruhusa tumpeane tukamempeana mpaka sasa hajarudi. Hello. So it's very clear from the audio that Mike Sonko did not let go of Congestina and we can hear towards the end of the audio that Hassan had requested that her mom goes back home perhaps for visiting or something and it ended up being a very long visit and hence why the last two months Congestina has been at home. It is also very clear that she was not ready to go back to Nairobi from what you are getting to hear but the job was in Mombasa. There we don't have a good clarification about it but it's clear that Mike Sonko is saying they want to continue taking care of her she needs not to be out there all alone because she will still go back to her old ways and that is something that they want to prevent they have used a lot of money when it comes to rehabilitation medication all that has cost a lot of money and it will be so sad when all that goes down the drain because of just a simple thing he has also made it very clear in the audio that unlike home back uh, where he is there is security there are people around her people to look after her so she doesn't go back to her old ways i think there can't be a better deal even if kenyans decide to come through and help as they have before so long as there is no change of environment and people to monitor her and to ensure that she's doing the right thing at the right time she is clocking in at work she is taking her medication then no amount of money can help congestina and the best possible way is what Mike Sonko has given that is he has a team they are taking that responsibility of taking care of her the family just need to let her stay there perhaps have a visit for a day or two go back to where she is being taken care of or even the family can go and visit her where she is but it's very clear in two months a lot is happening she's going back to her old ways with all that being said it's very clear that Sonko is not to blame he has done all he can and he has also made it clear on the audio as he was talking to Congestina's son is that at some point he will be forced to let go if the family do not let him finish the work that he started. So at this point the ball is on the family's court. Perhaps they felt that her staying far away, working far away is not a better option. That's why they decided to go for a herbalist. You can hear they want to go for prayers in Uganda. Maybe that will take her from this situation that she is in and she can stay in yala with them but it's very clear they have done all this before and it did not make any change until medication rehabilitation came in and that is when we have seen a change in congestina so mike sonko is also very kind to let the family also do their own way and see if it works for them so he has not refused for them to go to the herbalist to go for prayers in uganda in fact he's supporting them to do that but once they are done she needs to get back to where she's being taken 
care of. So let's just wait and see if they will take her back to Mike Sonko where she was being taken care of. But that's the update and Mike Sonko has also made it very clear that he did not let go of Congestina and he did not use her for PR. You're up to date. Thanks so much for watching. Subscribe and hit the notification bell so you will be the first to be notified once you have any new updates. I'll catch you on the next one. Bye-bye.